<laughs> Birdman, Birdman. Oh, the 118 to 92, the final. That's the uh, playoff low for points in these playoffs for New Orleans, 92. They shot a playoff low 36% and went four for 26 from deep. And uh, also turned it over 19 times for 21 Golden State points. Just a matter of time before we see Golden State. And, and I don't want to put these teams into the conference finals before we Oh, well, we let get me do there. it then. Golden uh, State and Houston in the conference finals. That's going to be a monster series because the, the, the Rockets are the only team, like game one and game three, if they can play like that, because uh, when they get lackadaisical and turn the ball over, that ain't going to work against the Warriors. But if they, they're great offensively, they've added Tucker, Arisa's there, uh, they, they're great defenders. Uh, but you're going to have to outscore them teams, plain and simple. Uh, like, um, you, like great defense, you're not going to be able to slow the Warriors and the Rockets down. You got to, it's going to be a 125, 130 game most nights. Victor, when, when Kevin McHale was, after he was coaching the Houston Rockets, and he was working here for us at, uh, at NBA TV, and every time I talked to him about Golden State, he said the thing that always jumped out at you, the thing that you could never get used to, was just the speed of the game when Golden State took the floor. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's like, it's hard. You know, going out there and playing against those guys, they're always moving constantly. I um, mean, their offense suits them very well, and their, and their style of play is, is unique. I mean, uh, any, anybody at any given night could give you 30, <laughs> 40, 40, 50. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, Clay can score without dribbling th three times. <laughs> yeah. Steph does what he does. KD is who he is, and um, and Draymond is great for them. I mean, it, Draymond gets a lot of criticism for what he does, but he's embraced his role, um, and, and he's he's great at what he does. So I think they complement each other so well. Um, no, and, and not only do they have a super talented team, they've moved the ball very quickly. You know, very rarely do you see a guard put it between his legs and hold the ball for yeah. longer than three seconds. And when you got guys that talented playing that unselfish, damn near impossible to beat. And we need, Ernie, for the NBA, we need the Rockets to play the Warriors. Because realistically, that's the only team <laughs> that can beat them. You find I, that amusing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> they're, oh, they're the only team capable of scoring 120 a night or just going on a stretch uh, and just what they make every three. Uh, so for the NBA, I mean, listen, Utah, they, what they've done, Quinn Snyder's done a fabulous job, but nobody think the Jazz is going to beat uh, the Warriors. The only team, first of all, because they have home court. That's another good thing for the Rockets. And I think the point you made earlier, and Shaq, I'm, you can speak to this too, is that when you watch and see, okay, Golden State's up 3-1, Golden State's going to go home and going to win their series yeah. more than likely 4-1. This is not a time to go 2-2 and take this thing six games in a series or more. You know, when you get more than four or five days rest, a lot of things can happen. You can come back sluggish or you can be well refreshed. You know, for them, it would be a good thing. You know, Steph could, you know, could continue to recover from the uh, a knee injury. Guys could, you know, practice, you know, practice on the shots. They're waiting for the Rockets, and the Rockets want to play them. But Chuck makes an excellent point. I know for a fact they're watching that game, seeing what the Warriors are doing. They definitely want to, you know, be up 3-1 also so they can close it out so yeah. we can get this thing started next week so we can get on the road. That's it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, when we come back, uh, much more on TNT NBA tip-off presented by Auto Trader. Michael Wilbon, uh, Victor Oladipo always sounds great, looks fabulous, the perfect representative for a team, a league, DeMatha, and Indiana. Left Silver Spring, Maryland, threw all the way up. So impressive. Oh, that oh. may be the nicest. Wow. That's from my, that's from my older written. brother, Mike Wilbon. A great Thanks, mentor. Mike. I love him like an older brother. Mike wasn't even talking to you. I'm, I'm, just, but I'm just telling you, okay. man, don't make me move Stop. no furniture with, we with could a only, guest. Not, we could only problem. wish that all the tweets coming into the studio were that complimentary. They're not. They rarely me. are. I always hear them.